Hello there, Leo, and welcome to a new series called Your Story and What's to Come. I hope you enjoy it. Also, it is a timeless reading, so whenever you get to it and it resonates for you, then it's meant for you, regardless of the date or the time. Okay, Leo? Oh, what's going on, Leo? What's your story right now? <laughs> some of you guys are just kind of watching and waiting, kind of going with the current for some of you guys. So, uh, you know, I feel, I feel there's something happening here. So some of you Leos... There's something about you guys achieving something, okay? And yes, you have earned a spot, so watch and wait. There is something that you guys are going to see, receive, whatever it is. There's some type of results here, okay? So watch and wait. I love this. Uh, what else for uh, Leo? So Leo, this is a general reading, so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out the playlist tab. Uh, those are all timeless messages as well, okay, Leo? So let's find out what else your story is, Leo. Yeah, the fledging. <laughs> you guys are really at a new beginning here, so there's something about you guys coming into um, a sense of experiencing something new here. So I know, Leo, that there's been things you've gone through in the past here that's really put you in a place of, actually, for a lot of you Leos, you need to know that you're in a good spot here with the seahorse spirit, uh, this fledging card. So um, there's one thing to know thing, you know, to know something, but there's one thing to actually experience something here. So a lot of you guys are really um, ready to experience something new that is very good and positive that will only enhance your life, okay? So yes, Leo, I feel a lot of you guys are, for a lot of you Leos, you're really in your strength as much as possible. You're really in your power as much as possible. A lot of you guys are really being victorious at this time. You've earned a deserved spot in a situation here. So just watch and wait. This is actually really good. This is really good. If you've been waiting for some results, it's gonna happen here, okay? So yes, you can expect to see uh, forward movement. You can expect to um, take on what you've learned and experience something new. And also with that, Leo, be uh, pa uh, compassionate with yourself. Be forgiving for yourself because you are at a place of experiencing something new within yourself um, and your reality, okay? Um, what else is Leo's story? I am picking up um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, well, I, should, I should just have said uh, Aries and Sagittarius energy as well, Leo. What else is Leo's story? Yeah, I feel some of you guys are really taking on some good advice as well right now currently. So look at this, Leo. You really are. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, the experiences that you presently are going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer, your great purpose as doing something for humanity or something that is very destined here. Whether you, you know, you see yourself as a healer or not, there's something that you do that is very purposeful, like look, watch and wait. So a lot of you guys are really experiencing some new um, things with yourself. Again, this is what this whole fledging card is about, right? Ex you can't know something until you experience something. So be gentle with yourself. You just, it's like you just shed this old skin and you're in your new skin right now. Um, and what you guys need to see in your reality is about to pop up here. So yes, a lot of you guys have this forward, um, you know, way of thinking, um, of looking at the future. So stay optimistic or stay hopeful about your situation. Don't go too far into the future because you're, you're at this place of trying to get comfortable with where you're at and what you're experiencing right now. So just trust that this, you know, whatever you've been through in the past up until now really has brought you guys in a place of fulfilling a really destined purpose as a healer, um, as something or someone that is capable of doing something that is very um, beautiful, that's sacred to you, okay? <clears throat> what else is uh, Leo's story? And what I was going to say too with, you know, when I was talking about Leo to be compassionate with yourself is, you know, allow yourself to, you know, make mistakes, you know, to learn. Uh, don't be too hard on yourself. What else is Leo's story? Yeah. 
Yep, you guys are ready. You're changing things around, Leo, really. <laughs> uh, the experiences that you're presently going through, and here you are showing up at the night as a knight of swords here. Now, some of you Leos, now just for some on a side note, it could have been you, because some of you Leos, you're really turning things around. You're really not going to take, um, I mean, because when I'm seeing this rattlesnake as you guys going through some type of initiation as fulfilling your purpose as a healer, it's, it's like maybe you guys were driven by your spiritual warrior side to really make changes and not to do things that were out of harmony or out of alignment of what you really truly stand for and believe in, okay? Um, and you could have caused some drama with people or situations or whatever, but I do see for some of you guys, take it if it resonates, but I do see some of you guys had dealt with someone too that could have been very dramatic, <clears throat> um, you know, and that could have been very challenging. But for a lot of you guys, I see you guys really taking on this Knight of Swords and you're not taking BS anymore. You're really standing up for, your, for changes that you feel are right for you. Um, and for some of you, if you're not feeling that, there's this energy of you guys m moving into this, like, s this warrior with this knight of swords, okay? Not doing or taking action in things that, you know, you do not believe is a part of your purpose or part of what you really uh, stand for. So I'm seeing this thing about authenticity with you, so it's really great, okay? What else is uh, Leo's story? Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is coming through there. I mean, look at the fire here. Some of you guys, there was just like this death and rebirth, a, a sense of, well, I, I would say like a resurrection, kind of like a judgment card, you know, like rising up from the ashes, right? What else is Leo's story? There may be, okay, for some of you Leos, yes, you're, you're, hmm. some of you guys really are watching and waiting for your results. I feel like you've done the work <laughs> and now you're waiting to see the results. A lot of you Leos really are, um, you know, uh, trusting your instincts, even like, you know, tapping into like maternal or paternal instincts here. Uh, some of you, Leos, you could be dealing with a family member or someone that has a very strong feminine um, uh, influence over you or with you, whatever. Uh, but I do see a situation of you guys. Some of you, Leos, <clears throat> you're okay with where you're at. You're okay with watching and waiting and surrendering at this time. Um, and some of you, Leos, there could be something here, though, um, with taking action, if you feel like you aren't taking action at this time, that is um, in a beneficial of you and your your own, um, you know, health, well-being, prosperity, you know, abundance and prosperity, whatever. I just see there's something about you guys really owning your own transformation right now. Whether you're male or female with this empress, it's really, you know, um, in the state of being intuitive, compassionate. Again, because I was getting this thing about you guys being compassionate about yourself as well. And nurture yourself, take care of yourself um, at this time because it is going to be super important. Important. And while you're watching and waiting, you might as well just you know watch and wait, you know, and take care of yourself while you're doing that. But I do see a situation for some of you guys um, really being in your power right now, or coming into your full power and getting ready to receive. Okay, I again, watch and wait. You're you're in the state of. Um, being in the receptive um, end of receiving something wonderful on the way here. Look at this, the sun card. <laughs> Leo, why Leo do you? Okay, so Leos, who did I just do before you guys? Gemini, Gemini. Some of you guys have Gemini placements in your chart. You may resonate with Gemini's reading, Leo, just saying. Or, or there could be someone that you're dealing with or will be dealing with that has strong <clears throat> air placements or Gemini, okay, placements in their chart. Um, now, could there be something going on too? We got the sun card here. Was something exposed to you guys? Did you see something? Also, it's really funny. I, I heard this um, right before I started your reading. It was like, you know, what I was, I was screaming. I don't, not really screaming, but I was saying, I got the power. And that's like you, you, you guys got the power right now. Um, so I was just really feeling this energy about you guys having the power right now. So 
trust that you guys are really coming into a, a state of success, a state of illumination, a state of vitality and health, confidence. My goodness, Leo, we got a lot going on with the Sun card and Empress because for some of you guys too, um, now this will not resonate. It will not resonate for all of you Leos, but there could be some of you Leos pregnant or about to give birth to some human. <laughs> but in general, I'm seeing a lot of you Leos giving birth here, right? To your own new self and sitting real damn pretty where you're, you guys are supposed to be. Some of you guys are really at this place of illumination, trusting your um, talents, your gifts, your abilities, as well as a healer or something that you feel very, uh, um, you know, empowered to do. So yeah, trust in, trust in yourself, Leo. There's something about you guys realizing something about yourself here, <clears throat> okay? Um, let's see what else. What else is Leo's story? I feel some of you Leos have been really strong too in a state of change or, you know, a state of maybe having to be exposed to some type of truth or some type of realization. And you just were, even while like maybe fires and things were going on, you're just sitting pretty here. Just, you know, whatever. <laughs> For some of you guys, what else is Leo's story? And some of you, Leos, there, um, some of you guys might be seeing the one or feeling the one for you, or there may be something with a connection here as well. Um, take time to heal. All is okay. Ah, look at this. There is focus on health, healing, well-being, you know, coming into your radiance here, feeling confident about yourself. So take time to heal, right? Especially because you've gone through some enormous, massive, tremendous, maybe even highly challenging situations and experiences, right? This is all for you to learn something as your purpose as a healer or your purpose in general. So a lot of you Leos are taking time to, to heal and, and you know it's all going to be okay. This is why a lot of you guys are watching and waiting. Oh my gosh. Some of you Leos are waiting for someone too. I'm picking that up. Um, what else for Leo? What else is Leo's story? I love that. Taking time to heal, healer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Queen of Wands. Oh, it's all gonna be okay. A lot of you guys, there's something about you really feeling confident and powerful about who and what you're doing or about to become. Something about success and achievement here. We got a powerful, bold uh, Queen of Wands uh, energy here. So some of you guys, there could have been something where something has taken you guys back. Something had really been painful, very conflicting. And you guys, uh, you know, had to rebuild yourself, re-strengthen yourself, find the blessing in a situation, find your power in a situation, and it's working. Uh, so stay focused on that. And so for some of you Leos, if you're still finding it hard to find your power, it's only a matter of time, right? Take time to heal. All is okay. I mean, we've got the sun card. We've got the empress. We've got the queen of rods here. So there's something about rebuilding or coming into such great strength and power. I mean, the queen, no wonder I was like singing that, like, I got the power. I don't know what that's off of, but it's like off of an old something. I don't know. But anyhow, that's what I feel about you, Leo. Ooh, okay. Let's see. What else is Leo's story? <clears throat> oh, some of you Leos had to destroy something. Some of you Leos felt like you either had to destroy something, change something. You had to be really in your power to do it as well. Yes, I see that for some of you guys. Yep, yep, yep. Very strong in your power and not giving a damn, knowing what you guys needed to do here. Bringing destruction to bring light, to bring health, to bring healing, to, to bring the best out of a situation. Um, yeah, trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. We got the Sun card. We got the Empress card. We got the Queen of uh, Rods. So a lot of you Leos are really trusting uh, the situation right now. OK, 
okay? You are finding the resources. This is why there's something about you guys sitting pretty right now or about to sit real pretty here and have what you guys ex have what you need. You notice what she's doing? She's just sitting there. She's not having to exert herself to go get resources. Oh boy, why does my timer went off? Oh my goodness, sorry about that, Leo. So hang on, hang on. That's so funny that my timer went off. I thought I turned it off. So um, yeah, maybe there's something with time. Um, yeah, time, take time to heal, okay? And then all of a sudden it was just like how I got up, boom, I just sat up. I just knew it was time, it was time to go. It was time to take on something, whatever it was, watch and wait. So there's something really with divine timing, okay? Yes, a lot of you guys are trusting a situation. Some of you guys are doing the things you need to do to conserve your energy or to conserve your resources to get you through challenges. This is a side note for some of you guys too to have confidence that no matter what's happening right now, you will be provided for. You are loved by the angels, by source, by spirit, by God, by Jesus, by whatever, okay? because you have a powerful gift, okay? Don't forget that. And very creative too, um, Leo. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you Leos are already, <clears throat> I mean, with the queen, yeah. You know, you're already got some type of status or influence, um, something, okay? So trust that, and I wouldn't be surprised some of you guys are, you know, some type of, got some type of fame or um, celebrity status. You know, not that that's important, but that means you're doing something, you know, you're doing something that's getting you noticed and you're doing something that's making a difference. It's about doing what feels right to you, not caring about what others think or, or think you should do. Um, let's see, what else is Leo's story? Trust your instincts to discern the truth of a situation. I really feel there's something bubbling up inside from, for some of you guys, you're noticing something about your instincts. You're noticing what is true and what's not true for you. It's like something must come to surface for some of you guys too about um, truth, honesty, right? And some of you guys, you're feeling very guarded. You're feeling like very territorial about what you have done so far because you know that you're protecting something that's important to you. Um, so trust your instincts to discern the truth of a situation. A lot of you guys are. You're really trusting it. This is this new experience that you guys are experiencing right now. This whole initiation process with you and spirit and your abilities right now. Um, what else for a Leo's story? For some of you guys in the past, uh, something just came up. You like you felt you you got the short end of the tail or a short. How's that saying go? <laughs> I was just seeing the tail of the rattlesnake, the the short end of the tail or something in a situation. Um, this and that are true. So there is a situation. Take time to heal. There there's something going on with perspective as well, right? And knowing what is true for you. Um, and also for some of you Leos, you're really kind of letting go also of trying to be right about a situation or just letting it be true, whatever needs to be true for others and choosing your own happiness, choosing what is going to be good for you and, uh, and others involved. Because I feel for some of you Leos too, some of you Leos are very protective about your business or about something that you're doing or your um, family. <laughs> so it's like, you better not mess with this Leo here, okay? <laughs> Anyhow, so I feel that there's a, a sense of you guys realizing your own true destiny, your own true happiness, what's bringing you um, clarity, okay? Realizing that this and that can be true, that you know it is what it is for everybody. We don't have to be totally right. What only matters is what is illuminating your own path right now and what feels true and right for you, okay? Because I see a lot of you Leos inspiring others. I mean, you're really destined to be very creative, powerful, bold, okay? Um, uh, uh, achieved in your field or at least achieved in, in feeling good about yourself, okay? Um, let's see, what else is Leo's story? <clears throat> Some of you Leos really got over some major destruction.
stand up. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what we're talking about. Again, you guys, uh, some of you guys, you're really standing up for yourself, right? And speaking your truth respectfully, excuse me, respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. That's really super important, important, especially we got this card, this and that is true, right? Not having to be right about a situation, not having to speak truth with some type of expectation of getting an outcome from it, but rather just speaking because that's what you just need to do in that time, right? Speaking truth in that time, in that moment. <clears throat> so um, a lot of you guys are getting a sense of um, some type of, you know, whether it's coming from the spiritual side or it's coming through in the material realm, uh, whether it's a person, something about you guys really getting some type of support or feeling supported um, no matter what, okay? So don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. And a lot of you guys, you really are. I mean, this is why you're, you're really at this, like a lot of you guys, I see you as this knight of swords, standing up for yourself, right? Doing what you know is true. Maybe yes, having to destroy things or change things when you know it's not in harmony or in aligned with something that you feel is true for you. And you're trusting your instincts a lot more. <clears throat> okay, yeah, feeling your way. You're feeling things right now probably more than usual too. Uh, what else for Leo's story? Yeah, let go. A lot of you guys are letting go of rigidness and people that are rigid or situations that keep you blocked in or keep you in a state of being very rigid. Now, some of you Leos, I don't know why I'm seeing, I'm seeing a grumpy empress right here for some of you guys, and I'm seeing this rigid. So some of you have to, um, <clears throat> some of you Leos, you have to be willing to move or do something in a situation if you've been feeling a little bit frump, frumpy, grumpy, not feeling good about yourself, you've got to start moving, okay? That's just a side note for some of you guys. I do see a lot of you guys releasing being rigid or feeling rigid and releasing expectations on yourself and others, okay? <clears throat> or, or some of you, it's like you, you're that knight of swords, right? And you're just like destroying the things that are like, you know, trying to lock you in. So good for you. You're standing up for yourself. You've got the power. <laughs> okay, what else for Leo? What else is Leo's story? What else is Leo's story? Wow, yeah, woo! Yeah, you aren't messing around, Leo. You're not messing around. And some of you guys, some of you Leos, you you probably had drama with someone here. It could have been a, it could have been a feminine energy. It doesn't have to be. Because uh, there is also a masculine energy, but I feel that there is a situation here. Really, you guys are in your power. Um, you're 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 really asserting yourself, and there is something about you guys um, not being afraid to express yourself. I mean, look at this. Trust. You guys really are trusting your instincts to d discern the truth of a situation, getting clarity, trying to be above, um, you know, emotional draining thinking <laughs> at the time. So. A lot of you guys are really doing things to remove toxicity or to alleviate yourself from things that can be very um, dark and unwanted in your life. So this might be a time where you guys really are um, kind of tuning into more of what Leo needs rather than what another or people need because you know it's about conserving your energy. You know it's about taking care of yourself. Um, and there's something about you guys feeling or having some type of situation being, um, you know, justified to feeling justified in your situation. That's something that I'm getting as well. So I see a lot of you guys really, you know, setting the truth uh, of yourself with this and this and that is true here and the queen of swords. So you guys are taking matters into your own hand right now in your own hands right now. Um, yeah. So I feel a lot of you Leos are seeing something very clear here. You really are, or you're starting to see something very clear and you're facing your demons or you have faced your demons or you have faced the darkness. You've had <clears throat> faced the shadows and you're transforming it. 
You're not trying to eradicate it. You're just transmuting and transforming it and utilizing it for your own experience, right? Because we cannot have one without the other. We can't have light without dark. We can't have positive without negative. You know, it just works together. <clears throat> um, what else is Leo's story? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is coming through. Yeah, see, you guys are facing, a lot of you guys, you, a lot of you guys are about to, or you are facing your problems head on. Look at this. With confidence and courage. I mean, confidence is queen of king, queen and the empress. Facing your problems head on with confidence and courage, and you will emerge victorious. It's like, watch. What is that? That one card came out, watch and wait. Yeah, you guys are watching and waiting because you guys know you've done something. A lot of you Leos, man, whoo, good for you. <laughs> And for those of you Leos <clears throat> that aren't uh, so sure, if there are some challenges or some problems, you are more than capable and strong enough to really face those problems head on, okay? Don't let it be bigger than it really is because I see you guys really asserting yourself, being in your power, <clears throat> discerning the truth of a situation, being um, clear about communication, what else is Leo? a uh, Leo's story? Look at that. We were just talking about you guys rising up, being victorious. Um, there is a lot going on with like, uh, with you, with your energy right now. So Leo, some of you Leos, <clears throat> you could be really making a difference right now. I mean, absolutely being noticed, maybe gaining some, um, you know, followers, popularity, gaining more influence, gaining more money, <laughs> gaining more whatever, attention. But most importantly, you know, that's not what's important. What's important is you guys, what's that bottom of that card say? You guys emerging victorious. I see a lot of you Leos really need to stand strong and st stand proud of yourself. You have done something that is really um, something that needs to be recognized, okay? You have emerged. You have emerged. So just watch and wait. You've done something right. Oh, Leo, you've done something right. Now, side note again, for those Leos, you don't be afraid to take, you know, take the lead. Face your problems head on. You're going to come out victorious. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's a card of being victorious. Uh, a lot of you Leos are really overcoming some trials and tribulations. Isn't that, isn't that the truth, Leo? What else is Leo's uh, story? <clears throat> Aries, um, Leo Sagittarius energy coming through. Some of you guys could have dealt with, yeah, again, some kind of drama situation. Uh, yeah, and you're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving on. I was just picking up some drama. Somebody who wants attention to, or, 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 or there's just something that is like somebody seeking attention, manip or what, it doesn't matter. You guys are moving on. Six of Swords. Okay. You're choosing peace. You're choosing harmony. You're choosing to transition. <clears throat> Watch and wait. I love it. You really are. Energetically, metaphorically, or maybe even physically. Some of you guys, you're relocating, changing, whatever, transitioning. You are moving towards something that is far better. Yeah, you guys are watching and waiting because you guys know this. You instinctively know this. was like all of this was happening you know all of this chaos was happening here but it's all because you guys really need to get out of that situation right and go towards peace um what else is leo's story Yeah, look at that. Leo. Ooh. <clears throat> Something strong is happening with you. There's a lot of maturity here. Um, a lot of, Le of you Leos had to deal with quite a bit of people, I feel, challenging people as well. <clears throat> but um, I'm seeing a situation where, Leo, you guys aren't giving up on what you guys know is right for you. There's something that you guys really see. Um, you're starting to see something. You're starting to see something long term here for a lot of you Leos. Um, and I feel for a lot of you, Leos, you're not willing to back down because there's something about you guys <clears throat> wanting to have um, 
you know, people in situations that are strong like you, right? That support you. Um, so I see, oh, look at this. And there's even sharks here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Um, I really think those are sharks. That's the first time I noticed that. The king of wands here and the shark energy came out. So this is pretty significant. <laughs> Trust your instincts to discern the truth of a situation. And look where he's looking. So there's something about you guys holding some type of long-term vision or not being, um, or not giving in to any insecurities at this time. You guys are really strong right now. You have to really trust this, okay? Um, and Leo, for some of you Leos too, there's something about parents or marriage or a partner or a divine counterpart for some of you guys. And so some of you, someone may be seeing you, okay? Or something, someone's noticing some attention here, okay? So um, I'm seeing something happen when it comes to really attaining long-term goals here for a lot of you Leos. Um, what else is Leo's story? Yeah, you guys are really strong right now. I really hope that you guys see how strong you really are. I can see how strong you are. What else is Leo's story? Two of Wands. So I feel for some of you guys, you might be unwilling, you know, don't, <clears throat> don't settle and don't get into a place where you can't move forward here because there is something, first of all, there's something opening up when it, when it causes you to come into expanding experiences, expanding knowledge here, expanding uh, your horizons, um, and doing something that is, yes, out of your comfort zone and, uh, and new, but it's definitely going to be worth it here. So a lot of you, um, Leos, you might be starting this path of moving towards something and someone here but there may be for some of you guys being at a crossroads and and not yet able to move forward okay so be willing to start planning and deciding you know your um future right starting to lay down some strong foundations um leo some of you leos you're really focused on a partner or you're focused on someone um or manifesting someone i see that <clears throat> And some of, I just see something about you guys protecting something too, Leo. But there may be something here too. Leo, I feel there's this, the, there's a uh, wanting to express something that has been, that you've been holding down. You've been holding back too. So don't be afraid to express yourself, okay? And face your problems head on with confidence and courage. What else is Leo's story? Now, some of you guys, I know you've done that already. You've already been speaking your truth. You've been making these changes. And the, the things that you guys need to see to move forward is coming. <laughs> yep, you are watching and waiting for it. Now, be careful, though, not to stay too much in, in, in a place of uh, sitting, sitting too much, right? Because you've got to move and, and take action as well. What else is... Uh, Oh, yes. Okay. So I feel a lot of you guys are realizing this. This is why you guys are, you know, t making a stand or taking a stand, trying to change things up, try to really um, feel your strength and your power right now to really bring balance back into your life. You're noticing, you know, that maybe your spiritual uh, pleasures and your spiritual passions, your spiritual growth and pursuits are kind of out of whack right now or was out of whack you know, with physical pleasures, um, you know, giving into, you know, the mind and pride or ego too much or materialism too much. Um, and you are taking control. I see you guys taking control right now. Okay. Um, and doing whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. I mean, look at the, uh, queen, excuse me, the Knight of Swords here. So good for you. A lot of you guys are hearing um, spirits messages about, you know, changing things up, right? Now, maybe for some on the side note, you know, uh, maybe what's causing stagnation or causing you not to move forward is we're too caught up in one thing and, and not enough in the, you know, we're, we're just out of balance right now, okay? Um, what else is Leo's story? Yeah, I feel like you guys are doing what you can to take care of yourself. 
paying attention to your energy, maybe doing some physical exercise, meditations, whatever it is. Um, doing a walking meditation each day for the next week. Maybe some of you guys are wanting to get outdoors a little bit more. Uh, maybe there's something with clearing the air as well, or you guys will be clearing the air with something or someone. So I feel a lot of you guys are focused on taking care of yourself and seeing what's gonna come, right? Watching and waiting and um, seeing what happens here. What else is Leo's story? Yeah, let going. Oh, yes. Oh, Leo, just let go of the fears. If, 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 a lot of you guys have, and a lot of you guys are really doing it. And, you know, the thing is, it doesn't matter what age you are, you're always going to have, I mean, fear is just going to be a part, is part of human nature, right? It's just part of us. But a lot of you guys are really owning your own uniqueness, sharing what you guys need to share. Um, and a lot of you guys are really, truly knowing that you are protected at all times. we got zebra spirit here. Let go of your uh, fear yeah, and know that you are safe and protected at all times. I feel a lot of you guys have done that. You're letting go of your fears. And this is why, yeah, maybe we're in this the state of this unknown, being uncomfortable, but you know instinctively and intuitively that you are protected. Look at, you're not alone. You're not, you may feel like you're alone right here, but you're not right here, right? <clears throat> what else is Leo's story? And I feel for a lot of you, Leos, that's giving you guys that extra confidence as well, knowing that you've got spirit that has your back. Spirit really does have your back. What else is Leo's story? Mm -hmm. You guys are knowing your worth. You know that you deserve better and you're allowing it to come. Oh my God, it's such your story. Uh, watching and waiting here. I mean, nobody's moving. She ain't moving. She or he, whatever, doesn't matter. You deserve better and you're allowing it to come. So yes, you do know what's better for you, right? You're being honest and true with yourself. Um, you're reducing emotional thinking at this time. Look at the queen of swords. Yes, getting clear trying to calm the waters, calm your emotions, doing what you guys got to do to reduce emotional thinking at this time, right? Taking time to heal. Be gentle with yourself. What else is Leo's story? Movement. Oh, oh, I'm so glad this came out. It's, it's, it, you guys really are changing into, um, you're, you are, you, there's something that is moving in your life, whether you feel it or not. I feel a lot of you guys do know this. So change is happening, absolutely. It's an initiation. And a lot of you guys are freeing um, a part of your spirit and your soul that has been yearning to be free, to move, um, to manifest, and to be in the state of co-creating with the universe and spirit for some type of desired uh, outcome here, okay? So trust the movement that's happening. I feel a lot of you guys are, okay? So when you guys see an opportunity and you feel inspired by it, don't just stand there, Leo. Don't just stand there, take it. Get on that horse and run with the horse, okay? <laughs> Move. Okay, and maybe for some of you guys too, I feel that there's a lot of um, focus or there will be a lot of focus on um, health, physical stamina, physical well-being. Um, things that reduces stress, exercise, whatever it is, okay? Uh, what else is Leo's story? Stop complaining. <laughs> Focus your attention on the blessings in your life. So Leo, I feel a lot of you guys are doing that. You're reducing emotional thinking. You're, maybe some of you guys are catching yourself too with not being a victim or quit complaining or you know, maybe you're, you know, some of you guys, you might be stopping others from complaining as well by just being a light, just by doing you, <laughs> you know, not having to prove anything. So I feel a lot of you guys are being quiet. Look at her. She, her mouth is like shut. So her mouth, like there's, there's something about like quiet silence, powerful quiet silence though. Okay. So you know, I feel a lot of you Leos are starting to realize uh, what's negative, what's not negative. Um, you know, stop the negativity, uh, the negative thinking, the complaining, or maybe again, uh, situations and people too that are complaining or, you know, you've just had enough. You just, you've just had enough. Okay. Uh, what else is Leo's story? Okay. That's it for those. So let's find out, uh, what's to come for Leo. 
What's to come for Leo? Some of you Leos might be planning traveling or you're planning something at a distance for some of you guys because I can see that. <clears throat> What's to come for Leo? Oh my God, I just said, I just said something about travel. Yeah, departure. It's so true. I mean, look at you. You're getting ready to take off here, right? And I was looking at this horse and I was like, oh yeah, you're going to get on this horse and you're going to be going somewhere here. I mean, you're on this boat. So yeah. Okay. It's good, Leo. It really is. You're leaving situations that are, you're out, you know, you've outgrown. Okay. You're leaving situations that are emotionally unfulfilling or draining or take the light from you. So either way, it's a departure. So what's to come is some type of departure and getting to go somewhere here. Okay. You're moving, you're doing something. So yeah, you guys are, there's, a, there's change. Okay. There is evolving as well. So it's all good, Leo. Um, what else is to come for Leo? And then we're going to get advice for you, Leo. Okay. What else is to come for Leo? There is going to be some type of, um, there will be something, it might start out small, Leo, but there will be something tangible that you're going to be able to uh, utilize, okay, on your path and how it, and how it goes, but it can, um, it definitely can uh, have the potential to grow um, into something steady and strong, okay? Uh, what else is to come as a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work? where you guys really connect with the divine because remember, you guys are doing something that is purposeful. A lot of you guys uh, resonate as a healer, as an empath, light worker, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So yes, um, I see you guys creating some type of space or maybe for some creating strong boundaries, right? Um, creating a place where you guys can rest, relax and recharge your batteries because now you're understanding how important it is for you to recharge and recuperate your energy, right? Because you, it's important as an empath, as a healer. Um, I mean, it's important anyways in general to really recharge your batteries, especially when we have felt um, we've given too much to a situation or a person. What is Spirit's advice for uh, Leo? What is Spirit's advice? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is really so in tuned with what we were. So the advice is, I mean, we've got the queen of swords here. Um, use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem, to get answers to your question. Um, remember the shark energy too. trust your in instincts to discern the truth of a situation. So you need to use your logic. You need, you need to use your intellect. Um, and your intuition to solve a problem here, okay? And ask your angels and ask to see a sign and watch and wait. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.